will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a student talking to the student accommodation officer at a college. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I've just been accepted on a course at the university, and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the hall of residence. Yes, certainly.、Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. The student wishes to arrange accommodation in a hall of residence, so hall. Has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I've just been accepted on a course at the university. And I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the hall of residence. Yes, certainly.、Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. So, first of all,、um, can I take your name? It's Anu Bhat. Could you spell your name, please? Yes, A N U B H A double T. Thanks. And could I ask your date of birth? The thirty-first of March. Nineteen seventy-two. Thank you. And where are you from? India. Oh right. And、um, what will you be studying? I'm doing a course in nursing. Right. Thank you. And how long would you want to stay in hall? Do you think? Well, it'll take three years, but I'd only like to stay in hall for two. I'd like to think about living outside for the third year. Fine. And what did you have in mind for catering? Do you want to cook for yourself or have all your meals provided? That's full board. Is there something in between? Yes, you can just have evening meal provided, which is half board. That's what I'd prefer. Yes, a lot of students、uh, opt for that. Now, with that in mind, do you have any special diet? Anything we should know about? Yes, I don't take red meat. No red meat. Before you hear the rest of the conversation. You have some time to look at questions six to ten. Now listen and answer questions six to ten. Now, thinking about the room itself, we have a number of options.、Uh, you can have a single study bedroom, or you can have a shared one. These are both what we call simple rooms. The other alternative is to opt for a single bedsit, which actually has more space and better facilities.、Uh, there's about twenty pounds a week difference between them. Well, actually, my grant is quite generous, and I think the bedsit sounds the best option. Lovely. I'll put you down for that, and we'll see what availability is like. Now, can I ask some other personal details which we like to have on record? Yes, of course. I wonder if you could let us know what your interests are. This might help us get a closer match for placing you in a particular hall. Um. Well, I love the theatre. Right. And I enjoy sports, particularly badminton. Ah, that's worth knowing. Now, what we finish with on the form is really a list from you of what your priorities are in choosing a hall, and we'll do our best to take these into account. Well. The first thing is, I'd prefer a hall where there are other mature students, if possible. 
Yes, we do have halls which tend to cater for slightly older students. Mm. Uh, and I'd prefer to be out of town. That's actually very good for you because we tend to have more vacancies in out of town halls. Uh, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anything else? Well, I would like somewhere with a shared area, a, a TV room, for example, or, or something like that. It's a good way to socialise. It certainly is. That's it. Now, we just need a contact telephone number for you. Oh, uh, sure, I'll just find it. Um, it's uh, double six seven five four nine. Great. So we'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. You will hear a man giving a talk to new members of a wildlife club in the south of England. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 13. Hello. I'm delighted to welcome you to our wildlife club and very pleased that you're interested in the countryside and the plants and creatures of this area. I think you'll be surprised at the variety we have here, even though we're not far from London. I'll start by telling you about some of the parks and open spaces nearby. One very pleasant place is Halland Common. This has been public land for hundreds of years, and what you'll find interesting is that the River Ouse, which flows into the sea 80 kilometres away, has its source in the common. There's an information board about the plants and animals you can see here. And, by the way, the common is accessible 24 hours a day. Then there's Holt Island, which is noted for its great range of trees. In the past, willows were grown here commercially for basket making and this ancient craft has recently been reintroduced. The island is only open to the public from Friday to Sunday because it's quite small and if there were people around every day, much of the wildlife would keep away. From there, it's just a short walk across the bridge to Longfield Country Park. Longfield has a modern replica of a farm from over 2,000 years ago. Children's activities are often arranged there, like bread making and face painting. The park is only open during daylight hours, so bear that in mind if you decide to go there. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 14 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. Longfield Park has a programme of activities throughout the year and to give you a sample, this is what's happening in the next few days. On Monday, you can learn about herbs and how they've been used over the centuries. You'll start with a tour of our herb garden, practice the technique of using them as colour dyes for cloth and listen to an illustrated talk about their use in cooking and medicine. Then on Wednesday, you can join local experts to discover the variety of insects and birds that appear in the evening. We keep to a small number of people in the group, so if you want to go, you'll need to phone the park ranger a few days ahead. There's a small charge which you should pay when you turn up. I'm sure you're all keen to help with the practical task of looking after the park, so on Saturday, you can join a working party. You'll have a choice of all sorts of activities, from planting hedges to picking up litter, so you'll be able to change from one to another when you feel like it. The rangers will be hard at work all day, but do come and join in, even for just a short while. One thing, though, is to make sure you're wearing something that you don't mind getting dirty or torn. And finally, I'd like to tell you about our new wildlife area, Hinchingbrook Park, which will be opened to the public next month. This slide doesn't really indicate how big it is, but anyway, you can see the two gates into the park and the main paths. 
As you can see, there's a lake in the northwest of the park with a bird hide to the west of it at the end of a path. So it'll be a nice, quiet place for watching the birds on the lake. Fairly close to where refreshments are available, there's a dog walking area in the southern part of the park, leading off from the path. And if you just want to sit and relax, you can go to the flower garden. That's the circular area on the map, surrounded by paths. And finally, there's a wooded area in the western section of the park, between two paths. OK, that's enough from me, so let's get on and have a look. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Two, 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 two.